So am I turning the whole boat? Like, how is this? Okay, well, I guess... I'm gonna put that... <laughs> He's still putting it on the table. I'm gonna put that on the table now. Uh, there's the record. Could something be recorded? Crimson <laughs> Crimson Room Decade. It's, uh... <laughs> it's... <laughs> Crimson Room. From the band Crimson Room, their hit single, Decade. We need the record player for that. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Speak of the Devil. There's a... Uh, we can't... We we cannot step on the door, actually. The door... <laughs> the door is still locked. <laughs> also, Dr. Surgeon Guy, how is your character staying still while the room turns? <laughs> Orky Bork, pop the record on and drop the bass. Just quick crimson room call me dj dj crimson oh hang on hang on hang on that's some, we need that and i'm gonna hang on to this for now might as well uh worn out curtain yeah. oh oh well so strangely we cannot walk on the door even though there are shoe prints right here, meaning that somebody was standing on the door at some point. Okay, let's take a look. It's in a book. Oh. There's the ring. That's a different ring. Put that away. Oh, hey! Wait a minute. <laughs> I recognize this. It's the puzzle box from the Crimson Room. That's what was under the bed, actually. Oh, hang on. Dear beloved wife, I trust that our child is growing safely inside of you. Uh, 1925 Paris World Fair, that's where he was at. Um, Paris in winter. He ascended the Eiffel Tower again. No longer have Paris in... Fa in uh, no, Paris. No longer have family in Paris. It's a letter to his, his wife. Alright, so I know I know one thing. Where do we put that ring? It goes here. Here. There's nothing behind here. There is one other ring. Like I said, the ring we picked up was said a, a dirty ring. It was uh it, that was different. So there's another ring floating around here somewhere. And then there's still the thing that you gotta stick inside the the slot portion on the puzzle box. Okay, what is it? What is else is back? What is else is back here? Oh, hey, there it is. Now I have an idea. If I turn this off, I can take the batteries back out. I think. Nope, it's okay. It's not going to let me put the battery there. So there is there is something else we need to find that um that goes there. Oh, hang on. I guess I can look in the bed too. Ooh, 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 ooh. my pencil. When something sparks, it tends to mean I can do something with it. We're making progress now. Oh, hang on. What is this? Oh, that's my <laughs> it's my wet rag. <laughs> Can I... The pencil... Okay, okay. We need the cassette tape. So, let me pick this up. Let's let's take a look around. One last thing with the, uh, the flashlight here. And I know the battery goes inside the spooky box. Or wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me actually take a look at this. I can take this battery out. And I know that the this thing actually takes two batteries. So I can probably put both of these batteries into the record player because the, the cord's been ripped out. Yeah, and we can play this record. Mm 
Mm-hmm. We'll listen to the hit single from Crimson Room Decade. Dirt is making the needle skip. We got a wash rag here. Oh, no. I mean... Put that... <laughs> well, it's white, but it's not funky, you guys. Absolute banger. Maybe I need to clean the record and not the... Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> There's fingerprints all over it, though. This fingerprint right here is particularly shiny. Okay, so I was looking... No, why would I want to pick up the pillow? I was looking at this to see if maybe I need to turn, like, a knob or something, but I don't think these knobs do anything. It's just you put it up. Okay. Play it. Are the lyrics a hint? Do I need those? The door's falling off the hinges, so... But with the puzzle box, though, we... Okay, hang on, let's just... Oh, the knob turns freely. Is it... Is, is that just water? Like... Oh no! <laughs> what is that though? There's something right there. Screwed in place. Okay, well we can fix that. Where's my thing? That one. It's time to go pop this door free. <laughs> There goes that. Oh, there's a oh, there's a ladder. How how big am I? <laughs> Do we put the oh oh wait 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 hang on uh, we gotta put the we gotta put the model boat in the water. Let me listen to this record one more time because those lyrics might be relevant. I rule the ocean with but a word. I calm the storms because I command the ocean. The only thing I lack is the young you with whom I parted. Okay. What is this, a ladder for ants? <laughs> All right, put in the boat in the water. Yes! That's another achievement right there, too. And we can probably go down that ladder now. But this should be the Viridian room. Just flush that toilet, I guess. Where's my knife? Where is my knife? Did I lose it when I popped the door open? I was gonna pick that up. Okay. Um, this is probably imp well is this important this might be a red herring because i think maybe they only gave us the um maybe they only gave us the this so we could get the battery out of it where's the where's the ladder oh, there right there it is uh oh what <laughs> Are we? <laughs> uh. Okay. There's a. There's like a big 
place to go to. Oh, okay, hang on. First of all, to my son whom I have not yet met but will soon be born into this world, what is most essential? Financial success, great renown, love, the self-realization that comes with a combination of all these. What is truly essential is freedom. A mental and physical freedom. The courage to shout, none! In the face of that which is repellent to you. These are interesting letters to read, but they're not um they're not clues, it's just more backstory behind I guess I am playing as the son of the person who was uh on the ship, stuck in the crimson room. Can I where am I? What is this? Okay, there's the doll. I don't have an option. Wait, am I tiny now? Hang. Yeah, this is the door. So we... Did, did the ladder... Did it shrink me? It... Cork seems okay. This is all part of the is it all part of the brainwashing? See that that I don't know. Is there anything? Okay, this is the doll from earlier that just it just fell down here. It doesn't let me put it anywhere. This is the only thing that I can pick up. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't give me the option to inspect it. Okay, this doorknob. Wait, that's the doorknob. No, it's it's not interactable. We've just broken the door off the hinges. Specifically, this one says the cork is okay. I feel like I might need that. Or maybe that bottle always said that, and that I could open that with the knife and there's like a letter in there. Anyway, there's a there's a hole over here. I'm going to go see what what this is. There's do I got to crouch. Uh I can't seem to go in. Am I going in? Can I escape from here? I mean maybe if you go in so, there's something we're missing here. Oh, you, okay, well that's something for the boat. That was the... What's that? It's not the hood ornament for a boat. What's that called? It's like where they have the mermaid or whatever on the front. There's my knife. Okay, and we need the corkscrew because this one specifically says... The cork is okay. Ah! It's that purple stuff. It's gonna float the boat, and we're gonna get on the boat, and we're gonna ride the boat out of here. Oh my god, are you fucking with me? <laughs> it's, it's purple drink! What? <laughs> you have got to be fucking kidding me. Sailed through the table. <laughs> Is it a shipwreck? Did the boat wreck? This is- this is more confusing than the ending of Viridian Room. I, I wish I I could as much as I don't understand a skeleton flying around in the sky with beer and a soul box containing his soul in the box that makes more sense than what's happening right now <laughs> the game broke my camera hang on shit <laughs> 
I'm afraid to alt tab out of it. Okay, you guys know I'm here. You guys know I'm here. I'm not gonna alt tab out of this. The game did break my camera though, it's great. <laughs> okay, well, uh <laughs> get a oh my god, Fedramon just get a flashlight. Yeah, I gotta find the battery and hang on, I don't have a I might not have a pocket knife, but I do have the completely safe but not too, not that safe. Exacto blade. I can use that to cut off some of the the curtain. I don't have curtains. That's really. <laughs> that's really. That's really about how the Crimson Room goes. It doesn't make a lot of sense, because I don't know how this fits into the Crimson Room mythos. I uh. <laughs> You had the Crimson Room, the original game. Then you had the Viridian Room. And those two games were developed alongside each other. Because when you exit the Crimson Room, at the very end, it, it shows a screenshot of the upcoming game asking for like a donation or to add to yourself the email list so you can get an update when the next game comes out. And that was the Viridian Room. And when you play the Viridian Room, there's two doors. One of them is the door you must exit from, and the other one is the door leading to the Crimson Room. You can, where you busted off the doorknob, you can look through the hole, and there's the Crimson Room. You can see the bed and all that stuff in there. So those two games were linked. And then afterwards, you go to Blue Chamber, and then it just, it, you lost that link. And then White Chamber, I don't know how the fuck you ended up in either of those two rooms. The for me, playing this and then busting down the door and then there's like a ladder and you climb down, it's not the Viridian room down there. So I don't know, I don't know how, the, I mean clearly this is not a remake, but there's a lot of things in this game that you recognize from the first one. There's the puzzle box, there's the man pointing to the star, doing the thing like that. Uh, there is the, the safe from the wall. Um, one thing I would have liked to have checked is I would have liked to have seen what happens if you put in 1994 on the safe, because that was actually, um, that was the combination that was always, that was hard coded, guaranteed to work on the original game. I probably should have checked that. That might have been an Easter egg or something, but if I had to, if I had to, having played all five Crimson Room games, if I had to pick which one was my favorite, the best out of the five, I would probably still have to say, I mean, it's going to be a toss up between White Chamber and the original Crimson Room. It's one or the other. I mean, Blue Chamber was trash. Viridian Room was a good game, but the puzzle in it was completely bonkers. And then this game, Crimson Room Decade, it's not bad. Some of the puzzles, I guess, I don't know. Clicking on that bump in the bed, if if Daemonic Void or I think or Dr. Surgeon Guy or someone, if they didn't post in chat that there was a review of somebody complaining about not finding the bump or whatever for an hour, that kind of alerted me to the fact that there was something I should be looking for. But if I didn't already know that, that would have pissed me off too. But I feel like, I don't know, it's really weird that they tried to like shoehorn in um a backstory i don't understand the significance i guess the significance of the the ship la crimson la crimson however it's supposed to be pronounced i guess that was just simply so that they could have the thing with the postcard that turns into the model of the boat that has the keys hidden inside of it and i guess it was just for that but Man, you know, I is it a metaphor? Because he, he the guy was writing letters to his unborn child and you leave it is it like Earthbound where the ending is a fucking vagina? Is the crimson room is it a womb? Is that is that what it's supposed to be? It's a womb and at the very end you're you're born like you 
drop the door and you have to drain the water. I feel like I get it now. And I don't like it. <laughs> but that was Crimson Room Decade. I gotta say, overall, I know the Steam page says that the reviews uh, were mixed. Like, there's negative reviews, there's positive reviews. It's not a perfect game. And it's not the best Crimson Room game. It's the newest, but it's not the best. I think... It's, it's a game that you can play even if you have not played the original Crimson Room. But I do like that if you have played it, there are a lot of homages in this one. The guy pointing to the star, the puzzle box. Um, and I think it's interesting that there are, I mean, even that layout of the room is the same, the bed, the, the shelf. The radio is missing, which I think is strange, but I guess it had to be done. But the, the plate is back, you know, the iconic door it's all there, the curtain, and again, if like if you played the first one, you fuck with the curtain, something drops out of the curtain, they did that again. But I also think it's cool that they took some of the puzzles from the first game, and they did them differently. Like, they actually, I don't think when they made the 2004 Crimson Room, I don't think the person was planning on like there being a special re-release. So being able to kind of go back and rethink how some of the parts from the first game could be used differently like okay the record player just suddenly shows up out of nowhere and it's missing a battery but the puzzle box has a battery in it and the little cassette tape for the for the projector but you don't need that this time but you do still need to solve the puzzle to open the box so you can get that battery i picked up on that immediately and i thought that was i thought that was really cool i thought that was an interesting spin on it so, having played the original Crimson Room, I think I can certainly appreciate Decade a lot more than if it was just, I just played Decade without ever having played any of the previous games. How much is Crimson Room Decade? It's $10. So, I mean, I, I haven't really played through the game. and There might be more secrets, more Easter eggs. Um, I think there's something like 18 achievements and we only got, we didn't get that many. So I feel like 10 bucks is a little much, but I think I picked this game up from the recent steam sale, the, the, the winter sale, the Christmas sale. So I would probably say like maybe five bucks is probably good for this game. Uh, when, if it ever goes, if it goes on into that range, stick it in your wish list. And if it goes on sale, you know, when there's when there's another Steam sale, check to see if it's on sale. But thank you guys for supporting the stream. I really appreciate it. It means it means it means a lot to me. All you guys that come out and watch on Friday nights and the chill streams that we do throughout the week. I've been working on those. We've been playing through Pokemon Blue. Uh, we're almost done with that. We got a few more streams left before I think we're gonna be well and truly officially Pokemon Masters. Um, thank you for. We had a couple donations come in from a wannabe Canuck. Uh, we had the bits coming in throughout the stream. Thank you guys for that. Thank you for uh, your support on Patreon as well. I really appreciate that. Um, it's it has it has helped the stream in measurable ways. I showed off some of the stuff that I picked up. You know, we had the the, the PS One. We had some of the games. We had the transfer pack for the the sixty four. These are all things that I would like to use at some point. I mean, I bought Crimson Room Decade when it was on sale with you know Patreon money. So it's. It is directly helping, and we're starting to see the, you know, the, the not benefits, but the, the payoff, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going to roll the credits real quick. Coming up next is, of course, going to be The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gatorbox if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox or streamlabs.com forward slash Gatorbox.